Michael, many congratulations. Hard fought victory up there. Just sum up how you're feeling after the performance. Happy for the win. 50 50 on the game, but I've, I've played two mint games and come off losing, so it's nice to know that the B game is still good enough. Just uh, the B plus and the A plus are uh, the ones that's losing my matches because everyone keeps saying turn up. So I'm happy, two points, just a bit gutted the way I played. Was it important that you bounced back straight away after the huge disappointment of last night? Yeah, of course, last night killed me. I was texting the missus saying I've finished and done. But lucky enough, I dug deep tonight and took my chances. I gave him a few chances. Lucky enough for me, he did what I normally do, don't take him. So he looked, thankfully, I stepped in and did take him. What was it like last night going back to your hotel room? Because we saw you walk out and you looked absolutely devastated. Was that one of the worst night's sleep you had? Yeah, I felt like I think I got to sleep at five in the morning, half five. Just going through things in bed and it wasn't nice. It wasn't a nice place. Got in the room and I felt like all cold. I was nearly grabbing my shirt and ripping it off. And <laughs> but, nah, it was, as, soon as, I, as soon as I woke up this morning, it was a different day. Seen Nathan, Nathan said he wanted to text me, so he felt a bit bad, but it's not his fault. My fault, I miss mean, not his. They just come down out of practice and things bounced back in my head and got on with it tonight. As Dan said earlier, we were chatting to Glenn and he said you've been the best player over these nights. It must be frustrating for yourself knowing that the game is almost there, that it's like last night for spells you were just unplayable and it's just that one leg that's costing you at the moment. It's not only tonight, in my mind, I'm not the best player <coughs> in the BDC. I just don't hit the doubles and I'm not at the break that someone else has. I've given myself so many opportunities to do it, the match play, the worlds, everything. Just haven't took them. But the minute I do take them, like Michael did in the Grand Prix, I know my game's as good as anyone's in here and I keep proving it. 107 against Gary with, what, 3 out of 18 on doubles? 102 last night and I think he had 5 out of 18 and 5 out of 19. And you're looking at their doubles and they're like 80% and keeping the same average as me. So I know my scoring's up there. I know it always has been. It's just... I've just got to put into practice now with them doubles. I've been doing for six weeks, not missing a thing, and I come here and I look like an idiot again. <laughs> it's an absolute mental league that you're only a point off second place. It's that close. I think if you can just get on one of these runs and just put three or four results together, then the playoffs are there for the taking. Yeah, um, I think it's me old folks. I come, come to Milton Keynes knowing I had 10 games, but five wins have put me on 17. I'll be close. And I was hoping to get the five wins straight off the bat, but <laughs> no, I thought five wins, I'll be on 17. Normally, like 16, 17 gets you in. And I was just thinking about it and kept going through my mind and turned out I got to be off Gary playing mint and I thought, I'm close to getting rele uh, eliminated here. Uh, luckily enough, I beat Rob and then messed up last night. But in three matches, I've gone from third to sixth to third to seventh and now back up to fifth, I think. And I'm, well, I'm four points or five points from top, I'm only a point from second. So it's weird this year. Tomorrow it's the game against Nathan again. We saw Nathan tonight look devastated that he didn't get anything out of MVG. I think it's a good time to put that right knowing that he's coming off the back of a big tough defeat. No, I think Nathan is like me in a way as well. He's clever. He knows how to put things behind the back of his head. Like when he first got, he's been PDC for six years. Or people forget that he's been doing it now what two years, right at the top of the game. But the four years before that, he was getting beat off everyone left, right, and centre. Wasn't picking up much things and he was clever. He kept coming back the day after, battling hard and fighting. And it just proves if you can bury the hatchet with things, he'll, the next day it's a lot better. Have you known a tournament like this? Because over the last five, six years, Michael or Gary have always been the huge favourites for this. But this year, this is wide open, this league, isn't it, though? Yeah, I think the year I made the final, I lost four matches, I think, and two of them to Michael, and I still only finished two points on top. And this year, I think I've lost five now and six points, but yeah. I mean, it's only a point from top and there's still seven nights left. It's weird how tight it is. I think Daryl is what now? Is he on six? Yeah. But he's only two wins from going back up. Yeah. If he beats the right people, he's back, he's back straight, in it? So it's just weird. It's like it's like uh, Liverpool running away with the league and everyone else is fighting for the third and fourth and stuff like that. United, Chelsea and Leicester. It's how tight it is, just so many losses, but yeah. They're losing at the same time. Do you think Glenn is out of? Do you think he's out of outside of the top? Eh, I don't think so because if I play Glenn, and I beat him. Michael, I want revenge on him. So there's four points gone if you win the same night. It's weird because it, how mad it's been. Just everyone's losing to everyone. Yet Glenn has been. Glenn has been. I didn't think Glenn would do what he'd done this year. I just thought he'd get so nervous coming into it being his first ball. He's been mint in this. Michael, pleasure as always. Thank you, you very much. Cheers, brother.